Smith pointed out exactly how similar his lifestyle is to the holiday figure, claiming, Me and the Man, circa 1975. As the wee sick me gazed up at a bearded fat guy in a colorful outfit, I suddenly knew exactly what I wanted to be for the rest of my life, a bearded fat guy in a colorful outfit. The filmmaker has been quite busy this holiday season, as he has regularly shared his thoughts on the latest installment of the Star Wars saga, The Last Jedi. The deluge of Star Wars musings began when the film was released, with Smith taking to Facebook Live to deliver a 90-minute response and dissection of the film and its impact on a franchise dear to his heart. Smith had previously worked with Star Wars icons Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher in J and Silent Bob Strike Back, so the filmmaker may have had a slight bias in his interpretation of the film. One of the more interesting elements of his review is that he felt as though moments in this film were a direct insult to The Force Awakens. I don't think Last Jedi writer-slash-director Ryan Johnson was attacking director J.J. Abrams or The Force Awakens, but there are plenty of what I like to call F asterisk CKUJJ moments in The Last Jedi where it seems like the work that was done in The Force Awakens just got undone in one very quick swoop by Ryan, Smith claimed. The first one is, they blow that base from The Force Awakens to SH asterisk T. The filmmaker isn't the only one who claims the latest film has negated what many other installments in the franchise have built, with many of the most vocal audiences feeling as though the Luke Skywalker in this film acts in ways the Luke we used to know never would. You can judge for yourself, as The Last Jedi is in theaters now.